pretty much from the start of the test match, we went on top of our game. Um, you know, even the first innings, I thought that the total that they got, I think it was 189 or whatever it was, um, was probably 30 runs too many. Um, top of my head, I can think of Virat having two or three chances. Um, so all of that, you know, in a, in a low scoring wicket like it is, it all, add, all adds up. And even the second innings, they got 220 and they should have been 180. So the last innings, we should have chased 160 or something like that. Um, so I think all in all, not a, not a great test match for our skills. Dropped quite a few catches, no ball wickets. Um, in general, our consistency with the ball, I think especially on this wicket, you need to make sure that you zone in on the wickets uh, quite straight lines. And I thought that both innings, we were a little bit short and wide uh, for most of the Indian innings, um, which uh, which gave them the opportunity to leave a lot more. And uh, certainly from a batting perspective, we felt that the Indian batters uh, made us play quite regularly. I didn't think so day one or two. Um, the only time when I started thinking like that was um, when Dean got in the face. That's when I got a little bit concerned uh, for player safety. Um, and even in the Indian innings, uh, there was quite a few guys getting hit on the finger quite regularly. Uh, I think if you have to count the amount of times guys got hit this game, it's much more than usual. Uh, you know, excessive sideways movement is obviously tough, but it's not dangerous. Uh, as soon as the guys started getting hit from a length, that's when we thought it might get dangerous. Um, but surprisingly, the pitch played fine again today. Today it was fine. Um, so we had the opportunity to chase down a game and we didn't do that. Nice. Apart from maybe my ball. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I think because we finished the game, I don't think that will happen. Uh, I understand at the merit points if, if the game was called off or if it was an absolute stinker that lasted two days, uh, then your demerit points would get a little bit more. Um, so I assume that even if this pitch was right poorly, you'd still be able to come back here for this cricket. No, not at all. Um, we all go through lean patches. Uh, I think the the white ball is coming in a good time um, for Quinny because it will, you know, un unshackle him. Um, He's obviously disappointed, um, but as, as any player would, and uh, he would go back and work hard on his game and make sure that he can be better for the Australian series, but for now, no. We did speak about it. Um, you know, the weighing up the <clears throat> extra batsman um, versus the all-rounder. At the end of the day, uh, we felt that, you know, with Andile coming in, he offers you both. Uh, if you're playing four seamers, if you take 90 overs in a day, it means that if your four seamers bowl 20 overs each, uh, you're still 10 overs short. Uh, so to, to have a workload where you have to bowl 90 overs um, off seam against uh, between four seamers, the workload is just too much. So we felt like because we don't have a spinner, you need uh, you need someone just to bowl a bit of extra overs. But in hindsight, looking back now, maybe the extra batsman would have been on this specific conditions would have been a better call.